Welcome back guys to Golden Sun where we've made it through to the town of Prox. It's very icy indeed here using the magma rock and our newly installed cannon with all our new gear. We now get exploring even more for any goodies that are around. We can sneak around it seems at this point in time and go under places and find ourselves a Venus Gin, but I seem to have knocked it somewhere. Did I cover you in snow? Can I scoop you out or something? Um, sir? There we go. Scooped out. You're fine now. And you're perfectly friendly with me after knocking you away. I was not expecting to find a gin just right off the bat like that, but here we go. Felix found the Venus Ginny Mold. Right. And what does that do? Strike a foe. Very, very simplistic in nature, that's for sure. Apart from that, though... This has to be something. If we get geared, steered into it so easily... Well, burst didn't work. I don't think I can use blaze because there's no flames around. Well, it definitely looked like something... Really, but not so much. Not so much. And it seems reveal gets cancelled quickly by whatever's going on around here. So we're going to go back out again and go, hey, we got ourselves a Venus gin, I guess. If there's anything else there, I do not know. Right. Wasn't really expecting to go, ah, la, 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 la. oh, Venus gin, there we go. And bump into him, of course. Loads of people. The wind is so cold and bitter that we decided to hide out inside our igloo. Mama and Papa have been acting really strange lately. They seem so sad. Whenever I ask them what's wrong, they tell me to go outside and play some more. Really, you tell your kid to go out in that kind of weather? My parents told me that it would do me good to get some fresh air, but I'm freezing. I bet. I always catch a cold when I'm outside in weather like this. Does Mum want me to get sick? Those poor children. They don't understand what's about to happen to us. I just want them to be happy in the short time left to us. I can't bring myself to tell them what's going to happen to us. Oh, please save us. I'm going to save you. I'm going to do it. Not your clan guys, I'm afraid, sadly. They're a bit evil. Felix, you like igloos, right? Igloos? Igloos, I like them indeed. Yes, I like them. You would say that. You come from somewhere warm and sunny. We didn't have anything to play with, so we just decided to make this thing. I hate igloos, but at least it's protecting us from the wind. Indeed, that's kind of the point of them. Any kind of shelter is good shelter from that kind of weather. Have you seen Saturo Samanadi? People have been saying that they were killed. Um, I might be having people in my party that might have done that. It was their fault. I can't believe anyone could have been Saturo Samanadi. Indeed. Well, it was us. Sure, it was specifically not exactly us, but it was specifically Ollis. He's a mean man, that Ollis. Terrible Ollis, Andreas. If Mars Lighthouse fires are not rekindled, Prox will be destroyed, but that's not all. Eventually, Gaia Falls will continue to erode, finally devouring all of Wayard. I think it's too late for us already, but if they light the fires, we'll be ready for them. Indeed, well, we'll get there. No one thought about our needs when they extinguished the great lighthouses. Now, because of them, our great land is dying, crumbling away at the edges. You know, we could evacuate you a bit. We have a ship. To think that we all once had the power to control nature. What fools we were. All right, what else is going on? Well, down here's got to be a treasure... So no? Okay. Prox originally flourished because concerned adepts lit the fires of the Mars lighthouse. Now we, the people of the Northern Flame, have been forgotten by the outside world. When the lighthouses were all extinguished, every great civilization faded away. Well, I guess you guys remained. You just faded in another way. This note looked readable, but obviously not. Right, anything else to explore around here? Well, no goody there. There's an item shop. We could pop in to see if we can reveal something. Well, there's actually someone here to talk to, so that's cool. When you left Prox, you were so young that you could barely lift a sword. Now look at you. You could handle any weapon with ease. In fact, I've got Excalibur, sir. Well, has he gone through these? He's become so strong in such a short time. In fact, it's been a longer time than the original game. This game's so much bigger. It's ridiculous. I'm keeping a close eye on the northern skies. I like to see a bright flash in the distance. I know the last beacon has been lit. Everything is supposed to return to normal once Mars Lighthouse is lit again. 
Right, is it this way then? Well, there's definitely something over here, that's for sure, but we still have one more place to check out down here. Or actually, you know, there's gravestones here, which usually mark something, but actually marks nothing this time around. There's a place for us to remove curses. I'm glad you made it back safely. The ice is making it very difficult for anyone to sail here. I fly, though. Ever since the JGO returned from Jupiter Lighthouse, the winds have been stronger than ever. It's like they know. Felix, you're back. You learned how to use synergy? I can sense the power inside of you. It's strong. If Felix could become an adept so quickly, so can I. Indeed, sir. Right. Is that every house checked out? Probably not here, in fact. The JGO and Cast left the Mars Lighthouse a little while ago. JJ and Cast are the strongest fighters in Prox, that's why we send them. I'm worried. They've been gone for a while now, and the lighthouse still remains dark. What has happened to them? We've got some information after all. We sent emissaries to Vel to tell them that Wayard was dying. They wouldn't listen to us. If only they had listened to us. At least the journey wasn't for nothing. We learned that Soul Sanctum held a hidden secret. Apart from that, seems no goodies whatsoever. Vel's elders were stubborn. They refused to listen to us, and they drove us out by force. We'd gone in peace, hoping to convince them of the plight our world faces. Three years ago, we sent our finest to Soul Sanctum. All but two were killed in a trap. The people of Vel couldn't possibly understand how dire our need was. Alright, so we checked out pretty much everywhere, apart from in here, the biggest house of them all. Not an inn, just a really big house. Don't forget, Felix, your mother and father are staying in the north end of Prox. So if I head north, I find mum and dad. So Joros used Felix's parents to force Felix to follow him on his mission. Full on hard times when we need to coerce people to join our cause. But we still kind of very much are on your cause, really. The people Saturos rescued from the storm in Vel should be waiting in their room. Once Mars Lighthouse has been lit, they'll be free to return home. Mars is the last lighthouse that needs to be rekindled. Once that's been taken care of, people of Vel will be set free. Well, our chieftain grew worried about the JJO and Cast. He's gone to the northern edge of town to wait for them. Okay, your elders further up, is he? Now that Saturos and his team are gone, JJO is the last of our warriors. If something happens to them, our final hope is lost. Why does this cast not count? That's a bit rude. Alright, anything hidden down here? Well, there's multiple jars of multiple colours, but nothing resides here. So I guess it's time for us to head upwards. We checked out the town. Haven't seen so much of goodness. So let's get checking out this area, shall we? we can't wait for Ikejio and his men any longer. If we wait much longer, this wind and snow will make it impossible to reach a lighthouse. I'm going to the lighthouse. Will any of you come with me? Well, I can't let you go on your own. If something were to happen to you, who would lead our village? Please, you must let us go in your stead. How can you expect to accomplish what a JTO in Cask could not? It may be more powerful than any of us. You can't just stand by. They're not coming back, just like Saturos. You have to let us try. I can't. I can't allow it. Listen to your elder. He speaks wisely. I'm speaking to you too, Puel. If a gate your own cast can't do the task, how can you, a single man, hope to do it? What are you saying? We stand around debating. Our town is doomed for certain. We can't risk sacrificing any more lives. So, we must sit here and wait for a miracle to come. Seems it. Well, we'll check out what they're doing for in a second. First of all, of course, we've heard mention of a house somewhere. So let's see if we can find it. Is that where our parents currently are? They're not here. Strange. We looked all over the village. But we can't find any trace of them at all. Everyone says they've practically vanished without a trace. It's so strange. You don't think they... They wouldn't have gone to the lighthouse. Yeah, you're probably right. Well's going to be upset that we didn't follow his order to free them, though. He was clear about it, too. Felix returns to Prox, set his parents free. Okay, tell me more. Felix took the trouble of coming back for his parents. Now they're just gone? I'm Felix right here. I can't think of anywhere else Felix's parents might have gone. 
Corel ordered me to set your parents free. That's why I'm here now. The only thing is, no one else is here. I don't know where your parents went. Corel wanted to set Felix's parents free before Prox was destroyed. If we can't find them, how can we set them free? Indeed. Alright, anything hidden there? No. Well, let's check out the abode that our parents were in. Will that note say anything, I wonder? Seems there's no goodies, but can we read it? No. It's just an empty place, an empty abode, though... That looked weird, but isn't anything. Okay. Well, our parents are gone. Up and left, miraculously vanished. You weren't keeping them under much lock and key if they could just go on their own. Right then. My synergy feels weak. I can sense it inside me. The water, earth, and wind lighthouses have been lit, and fire alone remains dark. Indeed it does. Well, let's talk to these guys. You! Felix! It's you! I'd heard that you would return to us. You look so much stronger than when you left. Seems he has brought some allies with him. Yes. I am Clayton. My name is Ollis. Ollis, isn't that? That is the name of the one that Gatio said had killed Saturos and Minardi. Ollis, stop that! You are correct, but Ollis had reasons for fighting them. Saturos and Minardi had invaded Vel, stolen his sacred treasure, triggered a volcano. You cannot blame Ollis for pursuing them and fighting to regain what they had stolen. We only wanted to stop them. We didn't think they'd fight us to the death. They flung themselves into the opening of Venus Lighthouse's beacon. Did Satoros and Manardi put up a good fight? I'll bet you thought you didn't stand a chance against them, huh? You were probably really tense the whole time. Satoros and Manardi had a job to do. That was all. If I'd been in your shoes, I'd have done the same thing. I can't blame you. In the end, you were stronger than they were. You should be proud of that. I am sad that they lost their lives in their quests, but there was no avoiding it. What has happened cannot be undone. We should cooperate to find a way to save Wayard. We understand that Agatio and Cast have made for Mars night out and not returned. And all that remains for us is to wait until Gaia Falls carries us to all our doom. It seems that Mars Lighthouse is as dangerous as all the rest. We have only a few soldiers remaining, and none who can make the climb to the Airy. Only St. Charles and perhaps Agatio were strong enough to reach the top. Who am to Minardi? Who am to Cast? And none of them can help us now. You think we can do it? I know we can. We've done three lighthouses at this point. I agree, Felix. We've climbed three lighthouses already. What's one more? Let's go to Mars Lighthouse. They've proven themselves strong enough. I say we trust in Felix to do this. This is an unexpected turn of events, but yes, I think you can light the lighthouse. Off to the Mars Lighthouse. Let's go, Felix. Come on, honors. There is one thing that I don't want you to forget. One thing. In order to light the beacon at Mars' lighthouse, you need to have the Mars Star. Ah, and a Gator and Cast of the Mars Star now. You must find a Gator and Cast, and you must take the Mars Star from them. Thanks for your help. The future of Wayard rests in your hands. That sounds like they're giving us free will to just off them. Are you off to the, uh, those two of our warriors? There's two more. You get yeah, get rid of them too. It's fine. You must find Cast, get the Mars Star, and light the lighthouse. Yeah, that's what I intend to do. If it doesn't work, we're all finished. Prox, Wayard, even Vale. All will be lost. Felix, the only hope left to us now. Good luck. If they were strong enough to defeat Saturus and Manadi, perhaps they can do the job. Perhaps we can, so it seems we leave the ship behind and forge off on our own. Well, there's lots of random directions. Whoa, is this like the the edge of the world. Nothingness, but black doom and some kind of sparking. Well, talent runners appear. Let's make them disappear at full speed, shall we? Right, let's go. 
Shine Plasma and attack over there. That should do it. Rising Dragon. 240 damage. In fact, it's enough to take him out anyway. If that was, then Legend Howls. What? That was Strength Attack and it's 1057 damage? Well, your Dark Sword does nothing really. It's got a higher attack value, but the howl of the Excalibur is ridiculous. All right, Olives has leveled up to 33 Slayer in the meantime as we go to the Lighthouse, I guess. All right, Mars Lighthouse is ours reach. And what else is going on? That's what we wonder. There's a way to climb up, but I'm guessing that's again the more lift-like structures. Let's check it out all the same, but ice cools all around. It's a treasure chest. Well, that one bad. An apple has been found, so let's use that to boost, I guess, your attack a bit more again, Piers, here. And get on moving. Alright, Felix's sword is insane. Let's put it that way. I don't see us finding much better than that. I mean, it's called a Scalibur, after all. So, we have ourselves a mazy type system. That can be pounded, I'm guessing. But yes, we don't really understand the concept of this lighthouse or dungeon just yet. Nick, you bet it. So until then, it's just time to fight through and just let weapons howl, to be honest. Legend comes out once again. Okay, so there's a different amount of swords coming. It does a different amount of damage depending on that. So it can do ridiculous damage, but also could not do ridiculous damage. That's interesting. You stole 16 PP. How dare you? Jenna recovered 12 PP to restore it. Well, that was annoying, sure. But now let's use Fury, I guess. Call forth wandering souls to attack. A weakness strike the mimic down for 2,000 experience and a cookie. More stat increases. Right. PP increasing. Who to put it on? Well, Felix is the least, but to be honest, I'm going to put it on Jenna here. As our main healer at this point in time with the AoE heals. Alright, so. Now the question comes as to what we do. Do we like this? No. Maybe we'll find something or we'll figure it out as we go along. For now, we just re-equip the gin that we used, of course, even though it is our ninth gin, so we still have our class up. Let's check this side. This side actually has... Hmm, Devil Frog and a Raptor appears. I kind of want to know your weaknesses, really. Rising Dragon comes out. Take down that one. Acheron's Grief comes down on you. That's not strong. But if anything, these do look like something I want to cast Blaze on, funnily enough. I could just see it charging up that to fire fire across and get rid of the load of the ice. But for now, we're being herded to that main section here. Actually, can we go along to the next bit? Okay, we've either got that one or that one as a choice. Let's go up for the time being and wonder what's going on. Jumping puzzle or just following the jumping at the moment? Right. We probably should go for a weakness strikes here, but Legend fires 2 free. Again, a thousand damage. Ridiculous. Man, that versus bosses is going to be insane. So all that does is take us further up for now. If you do not hold the star, you shall not ascend to the heavens. Be gone! So it seems we need the Mars star to get further here. So this is our end destination once we found the star. Dragons burning with might. They ruled the fires. Indeed they do. Fish with cold courage. They ruled the water. So what are you telling me here? Mankind, with the power of wisdom, they ruled the earth. And I guess birds ruled the air.
Third, on the wings of truth, they ruled the winds. Well, very cryptic room we're in, but we still haven't really figured out how to start this as a whole. The dungeon itself is yet to be really begun. For now, I bid you farewell for the episode with legend proving ridiculously powerful we're at the Mars Lighthouse. On the end stint of our journey, of course, we've still got optional dungeons to do. Will I do them before I finish the game or not? Are we near the end of the game? These are questions to answer next time or in the future on Golden Sun Lost Age. Bye-bye.